the uh, 15 gallon here still needs a clean so as you saw and currently see katie's giving it a nice little squeegee which uh go a little more closer to the if you go right up against that cave right there you can get it kind of that back cave there's some mulmy stuff at the bottom like you can't see it that's what i'm saying if you just go right across the edge of the cave there you go yeah So she's gonna do that, get this all looking pretty again. While she's doing that, I can clean this tank. It's uh, getting its, what, third water change since we've had this tank? Yeah, third water change. We've had this tank going for over six months, maybe eight months, something like that. So, uh, I'm gonna give it a water change and I'm gonna take some more of these snails out and the snails will be going in this tank. So uh, enjoy this little water change. All right, that's basically all there is to uh, cleaning up this little five gallon tank. A lot easier than cleaning the 15, as you saw. So uh, the speed up process will be a lot faster. But now, all I'm gonna do is pull a couple snails out and put them in the hex tank. So yeah, let's go do that. All right, let's get some snails. Let's go for these bigger ones first. And give yourself a little bit more room. That's kind of all the decently big ones. We can leave a couple more bigger ones in there just to, uh, I guess, grow out and help keep this tank clean. So, call that good for now. I put a little Christmas tree back on top. Oh, can't forget the little octopus. 
tap water only because we don't want the duckweed in the hex tank look at that nice and clean 15 Katie did an awesome job like she always does she actually squeegees these tanks pretty often and that is 100% the reason that we don't have to do water changes very often on these so if you're ever wondering what you could do to help your tank for less water changes, squeegee. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can dump some of this out. No. Um, Alright, option B. You <clears throat> take these. We'll pick them back out. Don't worry, I'm not just interrupting to show you Simba. I want to tell you guys that I know a lot of you are probably going to say that we need to acclimate our snails. Um, we've had zero problems just plopping them in the tanks. They go right to moving around. As you can see, those guys, that's the group right there. They're already out of their shell moving around. Um, you can acclimate your snails. I don't remember or... Same water, same temperature. So. Yeah, same water in all the tanks, same temperature. Parameters might be like 0.2 something off. I don't know, but um, we've had zero problems. I can't even recall watching any other YouTube videos of people saying you need to acclimate snails. So I guess it'd go either way. But my snails personally do not need to be acclimated in my tanks. So I just want to put that out there before uh, anybody says anything. All right, back to the video. All right, that's all the snails. Is that a little baby snail? I think it might be. Alright, no man left behind. Alright, now we'll go dump this out. Put that away. This tank <clears throat> looking better. Oh yeah. Look at all the Corys. Snail's still moving around. I don't know what you'd say for a snail. Um our new Pleco. Yeah, not very well. But, uh, he's over there. Anyways, guppies are doing good. So yeah, there you have it. Quick little water change, water squeegee, moving some snails. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it'll probably be another shorter one. I uh, do not know what we're going to be doing next for the next video. It'll either be something random or something that I planned out. I don't know. But uh, stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the videos.